Yemen, a nation on the Arabian Peninsula's southwestern edge, is embroiled in a brutal conflict, often dubbed the Forgotten War. Welcome to Cryptic Mystic Vault, where we dive deep into the hidden history of human civilization. The world's attention wanes, even as millions of Yemeni civilians face unimaginable suffering. The conflict, raging since 2014, is a complex web of internal strife and regional power struggles. It's a story of political upheaval, sectarian violence, and a humanitarian crisis of staggering proportions. The conflict has claimed hundreds of thousands of lives, displaced millions, and pushed the nation to the brink of famine. Their stories deserve to be heard, their suffering acknowledged, and their hope for peace supported. The human cost of Yemen's war is immeasurable a horrifying testament to the brutality of conflict. Behind the statistics lie shattered lives, broken families, and a generation scarred by violence. The United Nations estimates that over 300,000 Yemenis have perished in this conflict, with millions more displaced from their homes. Children, the most vulnerable victims, bear the brunt of this crisis. Malnutrition is rampant, with thousands succumbing to preventable diseases. Hospitals, often targeted in airstrikes, struggle to cope with the overwhelming number of casualties. The lack of basic necessities, such as food, water and medicine, has created a humanitarian catastrophe of epic proportions. To understand the complexities of Yemen's conflict, one must delve into the nation's turbulent past. Yemen, once divided into north and south, unified in 1990, but the seeds of discontent were sown amidst political instability and economic disparities. The Arab Spring uprisings of 2011 ignited hope for change, but also exposed deep-seated grievances within Yemeni society. Protests erupted against President Ali Abdullah Saleh's authoritarian rule, eventually forcing him to relinquish power. The Houthis, a Zaidi Shia rebel group from northern Yemen, exploited the power vacuum capitalizing on widespread dissatisfaction with the government. Their advance on the capital, Sana'a, in 2014, marked a turning point in the conflict, plunging Yemen into full-blown civil war. Yemen's conflict is not simply an internal struggle. It is a proxy war fueled by regional rivalries and geopolitical interests. Understanding the motivations of the key actors is crucial to comprehending the complexities of this multifaceted conflict. The Houthis, often portrayed as Iranian proxies, are driven by a desire for political inclusion and greater autonomy for northern Yemen. Saudi Arabia, leading a coalition of Arab states, intervened in 2015 with the stated aim of restoring the ousted Yemeni government. Riyadh's intervention is also driven by its desire to counter Iranian influence in the region. Iran, while denying direct military involvement, is accused of providing financial and logistical support to the Houthis. The United States, while initially supporting the Saudi-led coalition, has grown increasingly critical of the war's humanitarian toll. Yemen's descent into chaos has been a gradual but relentless process, marked by political turmoil, sectarian violence and foreign intervention. 2011, the Arab Spring uprisings reached Yemen, with protests erupting against President Ali Abdullah Saleh's rule. Saleh eventually agrees to step down, handing power to his deputy, Abdrabu Mansur Hadi. 2014, the Houthis, a Shia rebel group, exploit the political vacuum and capture the capital, Sana'a, forcing Hadi to flee to the southern port city of Aden. 2015, Saudi Arabia, leading a coalition of Arab states, launches a military intervention in support of the Hadi government. The conflict escalates into a full-blown civil war. 2018, the Saudi-led coalition launches an offensive on the port city of Hodeida, a crucial entry point for humanitarian aid. 2019 to present. The conflict continues to rage with no end in sight. Yemen is facing one of the world's worst humanitarian crises, a direct consequence of the ongoing conflict and the indifference of the international community. The United Nations estimates that over 24 million Yemenis, more than two-thirds of the population, are in need of humanitarian assistance. Millions are on the brink of famine, with children particularly vulnerable to malnutrition and disease. The healthcare system has collapsed, with hospitals and clinics destroyed or lacking essential supplies. The COVID-19 pandemic has exacerbated the crisis, overwhelming the already fragile healthcare infrastructure. 
The conflict has forced millions to flee their homes, creating a massive internally displaced persons crisis. These displaced families often live in overcrowded and unsanitary conditions, vulnerable to disease and exploitation. Humanitarian organizations working tirelessly on the ground need increased funding and support. The international community must ensure that aid reaches those in need, without interference from the warring parties. S4, the United States, which has provided billions of dollars in military support to the Saudi-led coalition, must use its leverage to push for a peaceful resolution. Washington should also reconsider its arms sales to Saudi Arabia, which have fueled the conflict and contributed to the humanitarian crisis. The United Nations must play a more proactive role in mediating a ceasefire and facilitating peace talks. The Security Council should impose targeted sanctions on individuals on all sides who obstruct peace efforts or commit human rights abuses. Narrator. The world can no longer afford to ignore the tragedy unfolding in Yemen. The international community has a moral obligation to pressure the warring parties to end the fighting and allow unhindered humanitarian access. Most importantly, we must amplify the voices of the Yemeni people who have been silenced for too long. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more mind-blowing discoveries and thrilling adventures into the past.